A military family in Wichita, Kansas, finally has the answers they've been seeking since the Korean War ended. Their loved one died in a POW camp more than six decades ago, but it wasn't until recently that the family found closure. Tech Sergeant Yvette Velez has their story. We never, in the last 30, 40 years, we never met, mentioned Frank. So when the remains of Frank, or Henry Johnson, as the Army knew him, were found, it was shocking to an old neighborhood friend. We was kids, and uh, he, was, he was gone. He was POW, and he was gone. Johnson's family had wondered about him from time to time. He uh, had wrote us and told us to, you know, send him his fare. He would go come home, but he never came home. So when a new Korean War project promised to help find soldiers missing in action, Irma and Arlene volunteered a sample of their DNA. It was amazing, you know, just all the information, you know, that, you know, we found out. The Department of Defense sent them a complete set of records of Erling's long-lost great-uncle. Where it all started, when he joined the uh, service and when he was deployed, also when he became prisoner of war. Documents show he became a POW in November of 1950 and died in April of 1951. Along with records, the promise of his remains, so family can hold a proper burial. Even though I, had, I hadn't thought about Frank in many years, you know, it, was, uh, it was a relief to know that they had located him and uh, was bringing his remains back. Tech Sergeant Yvette Velez, Pentagon Channel News. The family recently held a memorial service in Wichita.